welcome to the project RFID based ticketing system. In this project, we are giving the RFID tax, and through the RFID tax, we will be allotting the uh, through RFID tax, we will be knowing the student or senior citizen or a employee, and based on their citizenship, we will be charging you. And firstly, this is used as RFID reader in order to detect the uh, different type of passengers or anything else. And for this system, you have a two modes called read mode and write mode. In the write mode, we can able to write the data onto the controller about the uh, number of customers or number of RFID tags, whatever required. And while writing the mode, at every time, we will be recharging some amount as a bonus. And coming to this operation, for this we have used one transformer and regulatory power supply for the operation of the microcontroller and we have used one keypad to enter the number of stops of a passenger and distance between the stops of passenger and as well as uh, the type of the passenger holds. And this is nothing but the 16 by 2 LCD where to display the RFID tag number and as well as the distance. And this is a JSM modem through which in the write mode we are uh, entering the data into the microcontroller of each and every RFID tag and the entire data will consisting of each and every mobile number for each and every RFID tag so that uh, the number of stops, based on the number of stops the balance will be rejected and the directed amount will be intimated to the uh, passing customer mobile number using this JSM modem at the system. And we are using the buzzer to indicate the RFID detection. And let us see this operation once. Coming to here, it displays the title of the project RFID based ticketing system. And coming to the PC hyper terminal, we can able to find the choose number of series 1, 2, 3, or 1, 2, 3 is nothing but the tag numbers, and as well as R is nothing but the read to read the data predefinedly given in the microcontroller. Okay, let us see this operation from the first view by entering the data into the computer. And first tag number it is asking is to enter the tag number. 0, 84. 54549 After entering, they again ask us to give the mobile number to save the data. 720 722 8490 After entering the data, in this way the data will be saved successfully. Then it asks you to enter the second. Again, second RFID tag number it asks us to enter. 00. 84-54-55-0 Again it asks us to give the mobile number 73-96-29-117 Again the second number will also predefinedly given for that particular RFID tag in this way and data will be mentioned And third coming to here it asks us 84-54-612 Again, it asks us to give the phone number. Double seven. Double nine. Three five. Two zero two three. Now after this, this data will be entered successfully. And again, if you want to read the values, we need to select R in the keyboard. So that data what we have given entered will be displayed in the PC in this way manner. And this is up to the write mode. Then coming to the read mode, in this way it asks us to show the RFID tag in order to detect the tag and in order to travel. Okay, firstly I am displaying one of my tags. This way it is asked to enter the password. So I am entering the password as. Okay, enter the stop number. Now I am entering the first stop number. 2 it displays as the destination stop number it again asks us to enter again I'm entering as the destination stop number and for the destination stop number I'm directing the balance of amount 80 rupees and the same amount will be predicted amount will be forwarded to the mobile number in this way the message comes to the particular mobile number as 
this much amount has been deducted. In this way, both the three types of cards hold the three types of student card, student card, senior citizen, senior citizen card, physical handicap, physically handicapped. Yes. Based on their based on their uh, citizenship, we will be charging their amount. Okay. And this is the end of the project. Thank you.